The Little Red Hen. Story by Emily Pearl Kingsley. Pictures by Tom Cook. <laughs> A wonderful story. Now, every time you hear the, <coughs> turn the page. The Little Red Hen, starring Bert as the Little Red Hen, and featuring Ernie as the dog, Grover as the sheep, Harry Monster as the pig, Cookie Monster. As the cow, directed by me, Prairie Dawn. could join us today. Let's open the curtain. Our setting's a farm, so let's meet our star coming out of the barn. I am a chicken called Little Red Hen. One day I was wandering out of my pen when what should I spy, flying under a weed, but a bright shiny kernel, a beautiful seed. So the little red hen called her friends, small and big. First a dog, then a cow, then a sheep, then a pig. She told them a small bit of help she would need, and asked, "Who will help me to plant this fine seed?" "Not I," said the dog. "I have bones I must dig." "Not I," said the sheep. "Why not drive the pig?" "Not I." Said the pig. I must roll in the mud. Not I. Said the cow. I'm still chewing my cud. Ah, forget it. Said the little red hen. I'll plant it myself. <laughs> you friends wouldn't help plant the seed that I found, so I did it myself. Now it's safe in the ground. But dirt isn't all that a small plant will need. So now, who will help me to water the seed? Not I," said the sheep. "My wool I must comb." Not I," said the cow. "I am writing a poem." Not I," said the dog as he frolicked and played. The pig said, "I'd rather go lie in the shade." The little red hen weeded, watered, and all, and in time the small plant grew up sturdy and tall. Then she came to her farm friends quite early one morn and said, "Who will help me to harvest the corn?" "Not I," said the pig. "It is time for my swim." "Not I," said the dog. "I'll be swimming with him." "Not I," said the sheep. Though I'd love to say yes, I am meeting the cow with a bit to play chess. So the little red hen picked the corn by herself. Then she got down her grinder from the top of the shelf. Said hen to her friends, "I hope you won't mind pitching right in and helping to grind." Not I," said the sheep. "I am off to a show." Not I," said the dog. "I have bubbles to blow." Not I," said the pig. "I am riding my swing." Not I," said the cow. "Grinding corn's not my thing."
So the little red hen ground the corn into flour. She beat in some eggs. It took over an hour. Then she said to her friends, Well, you didn't help make them, but these are corn muffins. Now, who'll help me bake them? Not I, said the cow. My flies I am swishing. Not I, said the dog. I am off to go fishing. Not I, said the pig. In the sand I am rolling. Not I, said the sheep. It's my day to go bowling. My muffins are baked now. They're hot and delicious. They're made of my corn, which is good and nutritious. You didn't help plant them or grind them or beat them. But now that they're finished, who'll help me eat them? I will, said the dog. Those muffins smell neat. I will, said the pig. I'm ready to eat. I will, said the cow. At the table she sat. The sheep said, "I'm never too busy for that." Now hold it," said Hen in her angriest tone. "I planted and nurtured and baked all alone. You were all too busy to help. So you see." These lovely corn muffins will be eaten by me. Then the dog and the pig and the cow and the sheep were so disappointed they wanted to weep. The moral of our story is easy to see. If I help you, then you ought to help me. When friends help each other, that's a much better way. And that is the end of today's little play. <laughs> Thanks, everybody," said Prairie Dawn after the play was over. "You are all very good, but listen." Before we eat up those corn muffins, who'll help me put the scenery and the costumes and the makeup away? Not I," said Ernie. "I have to go to my juggling lesson." "Not I," said Harry. "I have to buy my pet canary a new pair of sneakers." "Not I," said Cookie Monster. "We have to go put Teddy Bear down for his nap." Grover said, "I think I hear my mummy calling me." Hey, you guys," said Prairie Dawn. "Didn't you learn anything from today's play?" <laughs> oh, Prairie Dawn," said Ernie. "We were only kidding. Of course, we'll help." And so Ernie, and Grover, and Bert, and Harry. And Cookie and Prairie Dawn put away all the scenery and costumes and makeup, and ate up all the corn muffins.